your blog, and I, you know, I used to work at TechCrunch, and I, your posts were mm. always the most widely read posts on a very I widely read it. site. Um, getting back to people hating you, one of the knocks that people get <laughs> give, give to you, <laughs> one of the knocks people say is yeah. great, you know, a little bit of what Bilton said about Jack Dorsey, his greatest product is himself. You know, here's a man who's very, who's probably the most famous VC in LA, mm -hmm. most widely read. What are his big hits? So that's a good question, and I also think it's a fair question. Um, let me start by saying, if you want to, could I give a mild criticism of the press? Sure. And then answer your question directly, because I don't ever avoid You've already the called us Wanker Daily. I don't know how much worse it can get. <laughs> That's after you called me between the lines or between the sheets or something like that. Um, no, I, I, uh, I told you this privately, so you know. I've always respected your writing, personally, your writing. Um, and I love that you guys don't avoid controversy, and you in particular. I love Michael's writing. Um, for a while, I loved Brian Goldberg's writing. He kind of uh, jumped the shark, or wh whatever better analogy there is. But um, I, I really respect what you do, and you're not afraid to take on a controversy. And I told you that privately. Um, but I think Silicon Valley press in the tech sector has become almost like the criticism you would have of Washington, D.C.'s coverage of politics, which is, you know, if you start to say bad things about the president or senators, you start to get shut out of events, so yeah. people tend to do glowing reports. There's very few Nick Biltons. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wrote some pretty strong stuff, right? He's going to have some pretty awkward cocktail parties. Um, and I think that Kara Swisher mm -hmm. is willing to just say what she thinks and to do real investigative reporting. Way too much of Silicon Valley press is cheerleader press. Yep. In my early days as a blogger, I just, I said what I really thought. So I called Apple China. Mm -hmm. Why did I call Apple China? Because it is. Uh, China is mostly benevolent. It, it, think about what China has brought to its 1.2 billion people. Now, not to all 1.2, yeah. but think about how much it's improved the lives of its people and its cities. And think about how much good it's done in joining the world system. And it encourages innovation and entrepreneurship until one day it decides that it doesn't like something and it censors it and it calls it Facebook or Twitter and it just does it. Or one day it decides it doesn't like someone and they are found dead. So what is Apple? They decide that they don't like women in swimsuits or bikinis so they censor it. They decide they don't like fart jokes, so they censor it. They decide they don't like ads, so they fuck with ad companies. And there's a, every, I think it's the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, I can't remember which, but after every WWDC, they do the same story. The story is, okay, who did Apple kill, mm -hmm. right? Because every WWDC, 10 or 13 companies die. They weren't given any warning, like, hey, you might think about like some other greener pastures, right? Like, we kind of like this space. It's, critical to what we do. Mm -hmm. You just like, you know, you're dead, right? So on the other hand, Apple is Germany, you know, World War II. It's like the Gestapo. It's like any Apple employee who's willing to talk publicly or willing to talk to a startup is summarily taken out back and shot. They are so goddamn fearful of like saying anything for being shot. Like what kind of culture are they creating? So I actually think Apple is Blackberry. It's just gonna take 10 years to get there. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't say stuff like that on my blog anymore. Why not? Luckily, you're not filming, so. <laughs> no, no one's here. Um, I, I mean, look. Where is it? I have an Apple. I have mm -hmm. an iPhone. I have, like, five MacBooks. I have, like, five iPads. My kids each have every old one of my iPod touches and every device. I love the products they produce. I hate their culture. I hate the culture. I hate the fact that they don't encourage democracy and innovation. It's easy to love Apple for their products, but I would prefer messy democracy to dictatorship any day of the week, and that's why I'm, I'm long Google. 
and I'm long Amazon, and they're not like perfect either, nor is the United States right. of America, by the way. But I'll take that any day of the week to the Gestapo. And uh, in the early days of my blog, I was willing to be that open. Mm -hmm. And so I occasionally said, I think it's kind of crazy to raise $41 million in your A round before you have a product. Mm -hmm. That's naturally not going to sit well with people. I said, nine women can't make a baby in a month. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a fact, right? As someone who's given birth to two children, I can attest. You can attest to that. Um, and I, I guess I could have been more diplomatic about how well, I said why? it. But why? Why does it bother you if people, if you ruffle feathers? Shouldn't great investors do that? Great entrepreneurs do that? I didn't say that, um, that I don't think it's a good idea to have a strong opinion and be willing to stand on it. I wish on occasion I was willing to not be so specific that it was hurtful to other people. Mm -hmm. I can only think of two instances, three instances where I was hurtful unintentionally and I wish I could take it back, but you can't put the genie in the bottle. What I can't do anymore is write about Apple and Yahoo and Google and Amazon, because every time I do, every portfolio company of mine says, gee, thanks. Mm 